Hey you guys, it's ML here. Welcome back to the basics, basic programming of EV3. Today we will be looking at the display icon. So this display icon allows us to, like the name implies, put a text or a shape on the display of the EV3. So we can set it to text, pixels, grid, shapes. We are allowed to form a line, circle, rectangle, or a single point. And reset screen for resetting it back to the previous state, to the original state. So if we select text, pixels. So let's go to image first. So by selecting image, we can use lego image files so lego has provided all the free expressions or eyes or information and anything related which we can all use for free so let's have a look at some of the expressions so big smile if i were to select this this entire thing would be displayed on the ev3 screen so there's a large heart small heart, mouth one shut, mouth two open, mouth two shut well, there's a lot of it, you can explore it for yourself information eyes, which is the one that we use quite often well, there's an icon for the sensors hmm, pretty cool Objects includes bomb, fire, forest, no grass, not that system. Alright, so these are quite small. Now let's play at the top left of the screen. Obviously, if you want to, you can create your own image and save it to a specific folder under the project images where you can access it as well let's have a look. define so clear screen we can set this to true or false so this will allow us to either clear the screen if we were to display more than one image for example so the x and y here are basically the coordinates so by adjusting, by increasing it slightly, it means that the expression would move up, upper right in this case. So if you were to set it to zero, 0, it will be back to normal. Okay, so if we were to display a line for example, so there will be x1, y1 and x2, y2. That means there will be two different coordinates where the line needs to be, the starting point and the end point. So for circle for example, it's slightly different. There is a radius parameter where you can adjust how big the radius of the circle is and if you want to fill the circle either true or false filling the circle means that what's inside the circle would be entirely black a black circle rectangle so this is quite different it has a width and a height parameter and of course we can select to fill the rectangle or not and lastly point so this is just a single dot I believe so it will allow you to set one dot at this specific coordinate okay that's it for this video guys I'll see you guys in the next one where I'll be discussing the sound how to use the sound function Bye.